the scouts on their journey of high adventure. We'll learn some of the secrets of the backcountry and find out what these young people take home with them long after their Philmont adventure is over. It's all here in America's land of enchantment, casting a spell over everyone who experiences her cultures, her people, and her beauty. The opportunity to share this experience is a promise of Cavalcade of Enchantment. Cavalcade of Enchantment is brought to you by Phelps Dodge. It means a lot more than just copper. stopped and counted all the many ways copper from Phelps Dodge touches us during the day, you'd be counting for a very long time. Sweet dreams. When you're feeling good, what a reaction. Care more chiropractic satisfaction. Care more gives you $100 after your auto wreck, even if you've seen another doctor. That's right, when you receive treatment at Caremore, just bring us a copy of your accident report, and we'll give you $100. Now, auto insurance usually covers Care 100%, so take advantage of this offer. Call 831-WELL. So, Delmar, how many chickens have we got on this farm? 50,000. Wow. See, sometimes you get so busy on the farm, you ever miss having breakfast? Sometimes we'll have uh, breakfast for dinner, yeah. Well, what would you think about a country omelet that has ham, cheese, hash browns, and onions in it, and comes with buttermilk pancakes, or a chicken fajita omelet, or how about an international omelet with cheese, ham, and chili salsa? I'd like to try it. So this is Cliff in America's Heartland, reminding you that any time's a great time for breakfast at IHOP. So, Delmar, which did come first, then, the chicken or the egg? I don't know. Philmont is located near picturesque Cimarron, New Mexico. It's a quiet paradise. This land belongs to the mule deer and the bear as much as it does to the people. Over it all, the majestic tooth of time keeps watch. Philmont was given to the Boy Scouts of America by Waite Phillips, a member of the family that founded Phillips Petroleum. He'd been looking for a worthy organization with which to share this beautiful piece of land. It seems as if the Boy Scouts of America kept recurring as far as an organization. Wade Phillips investigated further and was pleased that the organization was based on character building, uh, citizenship training, and physical fitness, but all done in an outdoor environment. Later, he coined the name Philmont based upon his own name, derived from his own name, and the Spanish word for mountain, Monte. Wade Phillips liked to visit the camp and observe the scouts anonymously. He must have liked what he saw, because he later donated even more land and his Italian-style villa, which is now a museum. Today, Philmont encompasses more than 137,000 acres, or 214 square miles, and is host to more than 24,000 guests every year. Every day during the summer months, 300 scouts arrive from all over the country and all around the world. They come prepared for a trek of 12 days or more through the wilderness with their small group. They'll hike up to 100 miles before they're done. True to its founder's vision, Philmont fosters self-reliance and teamwork, leadership and group dynamics in a unique natural and historic setting. And before a trek, each scout signs a wilderness pledge, which stresses environmental awareness and conservation. Oh, oh, what a ham! Arrival day is full of activity. There's a lot to do to get ready for the adventure ahead. Before they can hit the trail, the scouts have to go through what's called a shakedown to lighten the collective load as much as they can. All right, since we don't like uh, condone like cutting down trees, we, I don't really think we need this many pocket knives with the group. Um, at the most, have one to share with like a tent mate or something, um, but that, that's way too many right here. 
I know you all, you know, spend good money on your pocket knives and you got your neat little leathermans here and everything that, you know, you can like fix the kitchen sink with or, you know, you turn into MacGyver. But uh, I really don't think we need that. So maybe take three or four within the group and that should, that should be fine. The, the bears are gonna be even more aggressive this year and searching for food and water, um, you know, because the water shortage, uh, they can't find water as easily. And uh, because there's no water, the plants and, the, and the, the berries aren't growing. And so they're gonna be even more aggressive coming into camps and any non-human scent they smell, uh, they'll come to investigate. Um, I just happened to see this insect repellent. If you guys put that on too late at night and you happen to get in your tents and go to sleep, it could be bad news. Uh, <laughs> you know, you wake up and the bear's giving you a big wet kiss. No expedition would be complete without an official portrait. All right, set up straight. One, two, three. All right, thanks a lot, y'all. And the next night you'll be seeing at O'Neill. Mm -hmm. um, then they have horseback rides, a cantina where you guys can drink some root beer. All right. Um, they also have uh, branding and roping. Um, the and then there's scheduling. Yes, even in the backwoods. Because of the huge size of the Philmont operation, it's essential that each troop has a detailed itinerary. On the 21st, you're going to be seeing at a porcupine camp. Okay. That is a trail well, camp. Can we, can we go to Bobian and do program there? Um, yes, we could schedule for a horse ride at Bobian, but you do need to stay at Porcupine so we know where you are and can okay. get a hold if you need to. And now the adventure can really begin. After last night's opening campfire, the scouts are ready to roll. Last call for Zastro! These scouts have prepared well in advance for their high adventure expedition. It'll take them over 60 miles into the Philmont wilderness. If you look off to your right, um, we're, we're leaving um, what we call base camp. This, this will be the last time you ever see flushable toilets or some clean water for the next 11 days. These scouts are from Selma and Montgomery, Alabama. This is day one of an 11 day trek, which will allow them to explore, fish, hike, and learn backwoods skills. These kids come out here to um, for treks of hiking and just get to experience some different things here that they, they can't experience anywhere else in, in the country. <laughs> it's fun. We plan for it a year ahead of time and work up to the day we leave, getting ready for it and everything. It's a pretty big trip. What's the God country out here? New Mexico. Hey, what's the third verse of that song? Seven, 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 seven. I'm 56 and I've done this trail seven times. They're supposed to be right, but you can't always trust the signs, all right? You always need to have a map handy so you can pull it out and look at it. Once the scouts are on the trail, they're on their own. Their Philmont Ranger is only with them the first few days. With a long trek ahead of them, the survival skills they've learned are a necessity. All the water that we get out of a, any kind of creek or, you know, artesian well, we always purify because it has diseases and fungus and all that. Put, put all three of them into there and then mix it with water. So somebody needs to get a quart of water for them. How much water does it need? Sure. Well, somebody take a spoon and start mixing it up. Yeah. Watch out, make sure you don't get any of this stuff on the ground. So you're going to have to go back and pick it all up again. bears are always a danger, especially in times of drought, so food must be picked up carefully, and bear bags are used to store food, toothpaste, and trash out of a bear's reach. Oh, 
Okay, and then you tie it off, but you don't tie it off to the same tree that the um, cable's hooked to. Equipped with training and their natural urge to explore, the scouts are ready for the grandeur of Philmont. It's also necessary to keep tabs on all the scout troops within Philmont's vast range, and that's where the radio dispatcher comes in. Base to Clark's Fork. This is Clark's Fork, go ahead, base. I would like to see if 613N2 has checked into your camp this morning, copy. Philmont has over 70 trail camps, and we have a, close to 2,500 people somewhere in all of those at one time. Yes, they did. They checked in last night, and they're getting ready to leave pretty soon now. When Cavalcade returns, we'll meet some of the young women explorer scouts at Philmont and see how scouts are experiencing our Western heritage. producer of copper in the nation. Phelps Dodge would like to thank the many thousands of New Mexicans who helped us get there. Siempre sirviéndoles. How does your water treat you? Do you wipe water spots off glasses after they've been washed? Are your whites as white as they should be? Are you constantly fighting bathtub ring and stains? Don't let your water make you work harder. Treat your water with a Kinetico water treatment system and your water will treat you better in return. New Mexico Water Processing, 883-1157 or 986-1177. I hadn't been camping like this for years. I gained a lot of weight. Now at 40, after having called Jenny Craig, I can put on those shorts and feel free again. The ratings are in. The results are clear. Channel 4 Eyewitness News is number one in the morning and now number one at 10. Setting the standard as the new leader in local news coverage. From morning till night, you know what your best choice for local news is. Channel 4 Eyewitness News. Most of the scouts you see at Philmont are boys. There's a growing number of young women who come to share in its unique challenges. Team ready! Team ready! Falling! Falling! Beautiful. It's increasingly we're having more women um, becoming involved in the exploring program, which begins at age 14. You can join explorers, and it goes up to age 21. Scouting comes to life through the outdoors, and it's really true when you get the women out here, you get to appreciate something they wouldn't normally have in their real life. Um, some, sometimes totally opposite from what they're used to. Um, get to challenge themselves more than they normally would, learn things about themselves they never would have known, and uh, educate us as well. Successful? Yeah. yeah. All right. With a few bumps and ups. That's okay, though. Hey. What could you guys have improved upon? Maybe more communication with everybody. Everybody take a less step yeah. and then right foot close. Yeah. This is so tough. <laughs> it is super tough. Okay. Can I come? Yeah. I'm already. Oh, my God. Oh, you understand what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Woo! Okay. What excites me the most about being a young woman at Philmont is that there's not many out here and they really respect you. It's a lot different working with women. They tend to think more than the boys do. But they tend to have more initiative as far as things that need to get done because they know that the whole crew suffers and their crew is really... Team ready! A team. <laughs> team ready! Team ready! Fall in! Fall away! <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
Whether they're girls or boys, these scouts are learning that team building takes communication. Is there anything you could have done differently or that you do next time around to make the communication better? I think being more detailed. I think I'm, what you're gonna do before you start. Yeah, yeah. Like like Wade's idea, you know, he's like, all right, I got a new idea, like right at the start. You know, so everybody kinda had a perspective on what was gonna be going on. Fly fishing, rock climbing, archaeology, astronomy, even panning for gold. The scouts at Philmont can choose from all kinds of adventures. But Philmont is not just about personal challenges. After all, it's in the heart of the historic West. And one of its primary goals is to allow scouts to experience and appreciate our Western heritage. At the Kit Carson Museum, located here at Rye Auto, we attempt to recreate the days of the 1850s and 60s when Lucy and Max Warren Kit Carson operated a ranch along the Santa Fe Trail. Our staff people dressed in period costume demonstrate various frontier skills and often a, a hands-on experience. Various people can learn what it was like during the 1850s when Carson and Maxwell were here. We happen to represent one part of Philmont's history, that's the Continental Tie and Lumber Company. And uh, this year we're interpreting 1909. Um, that's why we wear the clothes that, that I'm wearing right now, because we actually look at old photographs and try to interpret exactly what those loggers did up north of Philmont here. During the pioneer days, ropes and gears were used on spar poles to help move lumber. Hi. So it's kind of hot up there too, and you get all shaky. <laughs> On your mark, get set, go. the kids to learn a little bit about our American history and exactly what happened here at Philmont. And through doing this, they can also learn the impact um, and how we've tried to change and improve, um, such as the loggers, cutting down a lot of the trees. And today we've used selective cutting. Um, and so we're using more of those ideals um, that scouting likes to instill and interpret the history at the same time. The sheer size of Philmont is staggering. Far from headquarters at the Poneal camp, you can see mule deer, elk, and scouts learning how the West was tamed. Take your rope out, you'll curl it, bring it around like that. You guys understand that? Then you go out, you might have to twist the rope a little bit and coil it like that. You'll just keep doing that until you get all the way down to the end. You kind of flip the rope around and over your head, okay? And you're rocking your wrist around. Now, when you get the hang of that, what you want to do is you want to throw your lasso like you're throwing a baseball straight to the ground, like that. because you I really haven't had a chance to rope where I come from like in the city there really isn't a place to go so this is good and I like it out here because there's like it's like in the wilderness and there's no cars and stuff we we're teaming up with this other troop from Colorado and that helped us out a lot because that way we like intermingle we learn how to work with people we haven't met before today's Philmont cowboys and cowgirls learn all the tricks of the trade like branding cattle even if cattle are in short supply. Now this is a Philmont 
cattle brand, the Bar P Crazy S. And I'm just gonna stick it straight on here. And push down pretty hard and rock it back and forth. Scouts can further experience our Western heritage by going on a one to two week horseback trek called a cavalcade. They'll explore, camp out, and take care of their own horses. But before they do, they'll need to acquire some basic skills. How do your pads look side to side? Are they even? You might want to look at it from the back of the horse and see how it looks. Are they good? I have to get the top one. Yeah, it's hanging a little bit on this side, so go ahead and just, just move your pads that way a little bit. There you go. Good. Okay, you ready to cinch them up? You don't want to put your saddle on this way because you really can't see what the horse is doing. What you want to do is keep your hand right here on the horn and your left hand here, and you just want to swing your saddle up on the horse, okay? Right, right. you just kind of hold your, hold your hand there and just give it a good swing up. There you go. Good job. Just like John Wayne. When we come back, we'll see more about why scouts love Philmont and just what kind of magic it works in so many lives. of our lifetimes, the copper of Phelps Dodge has helped usher in many, many changes. Here's to the next hundred years. Come to the 25th Annual 8 Northern Pueblos Artists and Craftsmen Show, Saturday and Sunday, July 20th and 21st. It's the largest Indian-owned and operated arts and crafts show in the Southwest, with over 1,100 Native American artists, traditional dances, music, and Native foods. The 25th Annual 8 Northern Pueblos Artists and Craftsmen Show, located on the Santa Clara Pueblo, 40 miles north of Santa Fe, off Highway 30 on the road to Puye Cliffs. For more information, call 1-800-793-4955. <laughs> Time to start practicing for this year's Hoop It Up. The three-on-three -three basketball tourney is coming back to Albuquerque. August 3rd and 4th at the State Fairgrounds. Just pick up an entry form at any footlocker or call 889-9368. Hurry, hurry, the deadline, deadline to enter is July 26. Nike presents Hoop It Up, brought to you by these sponsors and KOB-TV Channel 4. is truly a scouting paradise. Its unforgettable mountains challenge and inspire thousands of people every year. It's one of New Mexico's treasures, and the scouts share a vision to preserve its natural beauty for generations to come. We leave you with the sights and sounds of the Philmont Scout Ranch.
we put them in an environment that they've definitely never been in before, and so they've got to push themselves a little bit further than they ever have because these mountains are really rugged. And um, when they're out there, it's very spiritual. When you're out on the trail, you know, if you get to wake up and see sunrise over two the time there, it, it'll change you. What does that tell you? Yeah. Good teamwork. We can work together as a team. Well, we live to come out here. That's what, what scouting's all about. I love it here. Channel 4, Eyewitness News, now. Good evening, I'm Carla Aragon. Severe weather in southern New Mexico becomes deadly over the weekend. Almost an entire family was wiped out after their car was swept away by flooding. Four people are dead, only the father survived. We'll have more at 10. Friends of a Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputy are shocked, trying to figure out why he would kill his pregnant girlfriend and then take his own life. And lots of investors are depressed today. The stock market took a dive at 10. It's back, it's big, and it's better than ever. It's factory authorized clearance at your New Mexico Ford dealer. And that means the best deals and biggest selection of the year. Bring home a Windstar or Aerostar with $1,500 cash back. Get great deals on a 96 F-150. Even get 600 cash back on a best-selling Ranger. Plus save on every Ford car and truck in stock. Nothing's bigger, nothing's better. It's factory authorized clearance at your New Mexico Ford dealer. Don't miss it. Hey, hi, how are you? I'm green and yellow, so you'll think I'm a Scotch Bride scrub sponge, but... Uh oh What's the difference? I look just like a Scotch Bride! Everyone wants to be a Scotch Bride scrub sponge, but only Scotch Bride has this innovative system of scrubbing fibers that helps Scotch Bride scour the toughest baked on mess over 50% faster than any impersonator. Uh, hi, uh, oh, sorry, uh, thank you! Everyone wants to clean like Scotch Bride. Get the scour power of Scotch Bride, another 3M innovation. Over the years, people have tried lots of ways to beat the pro. Here's some examples. Tee up to win every Saturday this summer when you play Channel 4's Beat the Pro. We'll be at a different public golf course each week. And with your donation to the New Mexico Children's Foundation, if you're the closest to the pin on a par 3 hole, you'll win a Pro Shop gift certificate. See your shot on Channel 4 Eyewitness News and be eligible for our grand prize shootout. Please, no aircraft this year. Brought to you by these sponsors and KOB-TV Channel 4. Heavy weekend rains put a dent in the drought. Find out how at 10. Tori Spelling is the only witness to her mother's murder. I don't remember anything about that night. But the more she uncovers... If I saw him, does that mean he saw me? ...the more danger she's in. <gasps> now, 90210's Tori Spelling in a thriller that will keep you guessing till the shocking end. Awake to danger.